What's up? This is Legendary Beats here from Legendary Promo TV. Today we're going to be talking about automation in FL Studio, whether it's FL Studio 11, uh, 12, or whatever you may have. We're going to be talking about to that today. This episode has been brought to you by LegendaryBeatsOnline.com. Huh. All right, so the main purpose of automation is pretty much to automate a process or to automate an effect, to automate some type of effect on a sound or a different type of process, volume, um, panning, different things like that. So today we're going to touch a little bit on those different aspects, and I'll show you it how simple it is and how simple it's to do, how simple it is to do. So here you go. I've got a little beat that I made called the Comeback Kid. Um, it's available, well, it's not available on my site as yet, um, but it's something that you could definitely check out. All right, so here we go. It's not a good place to start. Let's start here. So, yes, I'm calling out plays. Call me Coach Carter, winning for days. Drains, been vamping for months. Now I finally see day. Hold so much. Too hype to get hyped up. See, time fly like it just spiked up. No sleep for the hustler. Gotta win me four times up. Grind up. Alright, so as you can see, it's just a regular beat. Uh, so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a part of the beat and we're just gonna mess with it. So, let's say probably the first. Okay, so, we're gonna take part of the verse. And let's say we wanna add a filter in the verse. So, the verse sounds like this. So what we could do is you go to the master track, then you're gonna add in. Uh, let me add in. Let's just put it down. Go to the master track, and what I'm gonna use is Fruity Filter. Right, Fruity Filter, and he's used a retro sound. So. So anytime you add an effect or whatever, uh, once it's set over to the right, that means that it's on. The more, the further you go left, is the is the less of percent that it's being turned on or used. Uh, you could view how much percent is being used over here at the top. So as you scroll, as you do this, you can see the percent actually moving live. So if I have it over here, zero percent, then it goes up. That's fifty percent, one hundred percent. So to turn this off, what automation is going to do is turn this off and on, or turn it more further near off or near on, depending on what you want the effect to do. So we like this filter effect. Uh, we want it actually to be off, and then we're going to turn it on in the automation that we create for this section. So always highlight the area that you would like for the um, automation to be used for. And the reason why I set it to off is because it's better for it to be off than on when you're setting the automation. Because when you have it on, if you select an area to do it, it starts off at a default setting at or wherever you have it set to, and then it it kind of thinks that it's gonna it should be used for the whole track before it and after it. So if you use it on off, all you have to do is bring it up. So I'll show you right now. So I'm gonna right click. You right click on that knob and then you click create automation clip. So now as you can see that this is off. So as we play, uh, what I like to do is I like to set the, uh, set the snap settings to none. That way I can just click wherever I want and set um, how I want the automation to be used. So here what you're gonna do is you can either set this you know, halfway right click it's going to add a dot So that was the error. 
So that's for like the filter. Now for panning and different things, you could actually do the same thing for any of the sounds on your track list. So any of the sounds on the mixture, you can do this feature. The reason why I did it on the master is because if you want to add an effect or automated feature to be on, to be used on your whole track, then you would add it onto the master. But if you would like for that to be on one sound, like what I have here, I have the love filter, um, the foodie love filter on um, the eerie pad. Um, then you could also set automation for, for that or for those individual sounds. It's very simple. Um, so panning, panning is very simple as well. Uh, pan so what you're going to do is set the snap setting to cell. You're going to hit control and drag over. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mess with the panning on this area right here. And again, I'm going to use the master track. Uh, what you're going to do is, this is the panning knob. So left means that sound's going to be on the left. Right means that it's going to be on the right. So let's listen to it. I don't know if you can hear that on the playback. I'm not sure how the computer's recording it for you guys, but I can hear it in my headphones. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this, create automation. So what it does is, is it, it creates an automation clip for that. And I didn't set it to off, but that's fine because you could right click. Um, I like to copy the value that's there. Um, so I'm going to drag this first. Oops. Actually, let me start this over so I don't confuse you. Well, actually, it's left or right, so I'll leave it centered. And I'm gonna copy this value to 50%. Remember, you're just right-clicking to add the dots. And all I'm doing here is, since I do want to know where the center is, so all I'm doing is is pasting in the actual value and making sure that it cuts off here. Because if you don't allow, if you don't set the burial, or if you leave this up, it's going to add it onto the whole track. You got to mess with it for you to understand exactly what I'm saying. So here we go. And you're just right clicking across. And it's just going between the um, left and right. Now we're going to move over to the volume. Create automation clip. You could do the same thing. Um, here you could drag it down. Here you could right click. Make sure you copy a value of what that actually is. So that you'll never get lost in case you add it uh, and you replace it by mistake. So. Pretty simple, huh? That's pretty much it. Automation clips. It's a beautiful thing, man. Oh, you see that? Trains been vamping for months. Now I finally see day. Holds too much. Too hype to get hyped up. See time fly like it just spiked up. Spiked up. Sleep for the hustler, gotta win me four times up. Grind up, grind up. This uh, filter. So, pretty much with any sound that you add on any effect that you add on these sounds. Hope this video helped you out. If it has, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to hit that like button or hit, and hit that subscribe button. And comment below if uh, you have any suggestions, you want me uh, topics you want me to talk about, or if you just think that this beat is hot or you think that this technique is cool. All right, looking forward to you know making music with you guys next time. I'm Legendary Beats and I'm out. Peace.